bothering me? We're here for you, Hillary Marie Byrne Connolly. Oh, really? Yes! Tell us the truth, Hillary Marie Byrne Connolly. You know as well as I do, I'm, I'm blocked. Empty the cup! Not this cup business again. Where are you? Do I unlock you? Well, it's not working, is it? Because you keep pushing us away! No, I keep trying to write and you just keep popping up and interrupting me. No! Side and let you get on with it. What? Now. Right now. Do it. Right. Right. Go on. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. I will. Good. Do it. We're not stopping you. I, I just, I have a routine, you know. You learn early on that writers should always have a routine. Maybe you need a new routine. <laughs> and you come back. Yeah, soaking wet, like out of a big storm. And so she looks up from her book and sees you all dripping wet. Yeah, that's right. Oh, should I be writing this down? No. Just imagine she falls into your arms. And her glasses fall off. Oh, yes. And all her books fall off the shelves. And she lets down her long blonde hair. Oh, yes. And it falls down. Oh, yes! Naked! Naked? This is my fantasy, right? Yes. Well, then she's naked! All her clothes have totally just fallen off! How? No, we're suddenly naked in the sea. Swimming? No. Not swimming. Oh, no foreplay? No. Rough and ready? Yeah. Right down to it? She and I are. Yes, you are! Yes. Yes! 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 yes. yes. You're tormenting me. Don't you see? I'm an eco-warrior poet. I should be writing about melting ice caps. <laughs> and baby polar bears. Last time to the lot. Men. That's right. We are her love. And they abuse that love. What do you expect? Fuck them. Look, sugar. Why don't you just uh, calm down? Run yourself a hot bath, light a few candles. Have a No! Of <sighs> Not again. You need to get your mind on something more pleasant, huh? How can you say that? Do you know what happened to me? I know. It was a Tuesday night. The, the 4th, 4th of, of November. Three years ago, <laughs> Shug. But the pain. Yeah, the pain. <laughs> I can still hear him laughing. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> Switch. You can't just turn me on. Bonnie, this is not right. You know it's not. What is it? Is there someone else? No. 
There is no one else. But something is happening, Kevin. Peter. Yeah, yeah, Peter the boy. He is fantastic. Oh, yeah, he is fantastic. He opens doors you didn't even know you had. Oh, really? He can get you to open up. Sometimes, Kevin, it's like I'm watching myself writing things and I don't know where they're coming from. I look down and there are words on a page. So what then? That's how we're going to relate through your poems? Kevin. Maybe I should start writing poems too? Yeah, that's it. Maybe we'll both write poems. First you, then me. Back and forth. No need for us to actually touch each other then. No, of course not. That's too physical. Our poems will do the relating for us. We let our rhyming couplets metaphorically fuck each other! Kevin! Okay, I'm sorry. You're not really sorry. Are you going to tell me how I feel now? It's all right, Kevin. We both know you're not really interested in anything. Okay, then. Show me all your poems. Come on. I'd like to read them. No. No? No. Why? It's just... They're not... Not finished? Eight weeks and you still haven't shown me one. What's the big deal? What's in them? Nothing. Nothing is in them. It's just they're not finished.